Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from Cool Cleveland. We're taking a side trip to Chicago for Expona 2024. We're here with Jeff McCabe of VPE Electrodynamics. And you guys are trying something a little new here. You've got two different products. Uh, you've got a MagnaPan hack, <laughs> is what I would call it. And you've got this airfoil DSP loudspeaker. Talk us through what you got here. Well, we'll talk about the first uh the first piece that we have, we've had for about three years, and that's the LDW, which means little dipole woofer, and that goes behind the LRS MagnaPan or up through the 1.7, 1.8 MagnaPans, works great. It's a 10 inch dipole DSP, 250 watt powered subwoofer that disappears behind the LRS. This behinds the MagnaPan, it does not another box in the room, and it does its job. And there's a programming that's done through with a, with a, a laptop or a tablet that sets all the parameters and everything you have for uh, crossover points and slopes and so on and so forth with lots of choices. So it's sort of a custom designed subwoofer for four MagnaPans, specifically the LRS or really any, any of the MagnaPans? Started off for the LRS and still technically is, but we found it to be fully effective and fine for anything up 1.7 to 1.8, which I have at home and they sound great. The new speaker we have is the Airfoil. That's one that's just being debuted this particular show. It's the first time we've had it. This particular set has only been put together for about eight weeks. The 13 or 14 months worth of research and uh, uh, boilerplate work down at St. Louis with uh, Don and Jim been working on that. And then I've been working manufacturing these speakers here as you see them and then we loaded them up a couple months ago and spent three days going through what it took to make those uh ready to come to the show yeah and those have an integrated subwoofer as well and right. they're all dsp all dsp the mini dsp unit is in a rack rather than being built into an amp 300 watt per channel uh, plate amps on the bottom and then using the dsp to again separate EQ, separate frequencies, set attenuations, make room corrections, all the kind of things that are necessary to be a satisfied listener and can store up to four different settings if you were to have different styles of music and or cartridges and or sources that you wish to have. There's up to four settings you can have for, for that. So that's pretty cool. And they, uh, they are dipole as well as barrel baffle and wave canceling features from the middle driver. And so they use a stereo amps to drive. The, it's actually three channels per side. Mm -hmm. So the subwoofer, half of a stereo amp, half of a stereo amp, same thing on the other side. Right. Jeff, it sounds great. I can't decide which one sounds better. Thanks for walking us through this. You bet. Thank you. It's been fun. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from Cool Cleveland here in Chicago at Expona 2024.